everybody. We are going to give everybody a few minutes to hop on here. So it's going to be silent for a little bit. <laughs> Actually, I might just, I'll just play a little background music for now, but. try to give everybody a minute to kind of log on and get connected here with us. <coughs> I want to thank you for joining us this morning. We pray that you'll be blessed um, by the music and the word that's coming to you this morning. Um, we are going to start off with prayer like we normally do. We're going to try to keep everything as normal as possible uh, during this time. I'm thankful that although our situation changed and our services are changing and how we do things are changing for a few weeks, um, that our God is constant. Amen. And he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So no matter what's going on around us, he stays faithful and true. And I'm very thankful for that. So we might be coming to you in a different platform every service, every week. It's going to look maybe a little bit different, but our Jesus will remain the same. Amen. Yeah. So we are going to pray this morning. We're going to ask that wherever you're at, that if you're watching with anyone to bind together in prayer, we're going to treat this as a normal service. We're going to ask that the Lord would fill whatever place you're watching from, whether that's your home or wherever you may be this morning. We're going to bind together and pray and ask that the Lord would fill um, his presence wherever you may be this morning. So join us in prayer. Lord God, we lift you up in this place, Jesus, whatever so place God, everyone is tuning God, in from this morning, Lord. I pray that you would just fill, that your Holy Ghost would come into every single place where everyone is virtually connected today, Lord. You are the same and you remain constant and we are thankful for a God that is able to be the same no matter what changes in our day-to-day -day life or no matter what changes in this world, God, you are the same. I ask, Lord, that you would just be in this worship service this morning, be in this devotional, God, that you would touch our hearts, allow your spirit to move, God, for whatever Whatever you want to happen, to happen. Lord, we believe that we're stable to have church, Lord. Where two or three are gathered, you will do what we've asked you to do, Lord. We know that you can move and we ask that you would. We give everything over to you, Lord, and we lift you up in this place, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We're going to start off with every praise is to our God. Simple song, but every praise we have, everything we have right now in these difficult, changing times, we give it over to the Lord because we know he's going to pull us through. So everything we have, we're going to give over to him. So please join along. Worship where you are. Feel free to sing along as loud as you want. And we're going to praise our Lord this morning.
Lord. He has died for our sins. And he was risen to give us everlasting life. And that gives us hope for the future. No matter what's going on in this crazy world, we know that our eternity is going to be in heaven. Amen. We're thankful for that gift of salvation that he's given us. We're going to sing about the cross, that wonderful, wonderful symbol for us for salvation. Now we're so thankful for this morning.
Lord. Praise the Lord. We're going to transition into a time of prayer. We have a very, very long list of needs. So I'm going to read those out to you so you can be praying over those, not only today, but throughout this week um, of these needs of, from our saints that have been lifted up. So our ongoing needs for healing, um, Sister Joel Anderson, Sister Phyllis Ante, Sister Violet Combs, Sister Phyllis France, Sister Joyce Jackson, Brother John Murray. We got a praise report from uh, Brother John. Uh, he's feeling better. He's up walking around, but um, they are still worried about his heart. And, um, wondering about a pacemaker in a couple weeks, so continue to pray for him. Brother Randall Spencer, Sister Sharon Sproul, Brother Carl Witts, and Sister Shirley Young. Those are our ongoing needs. We had some uh, prayer requests for salvation. We want to lift up a few names that have been mentioned this uh, past week. Please remember Sister Brandy Brainerd, Joel Brainerd, Jordan Brainerd, and Jean Mongar. All been lifted up praying for salvation. Uh, for our healing needs, um, Gabriel, uh, Sister Megan has put in a request. He went to see a gastroenterologist for an unspoken need, and they need answers from the doctor to figure out a solution. So please pray for him. The Courtright family has an unspoken request. Please be praying over that. Sister Catherine Duda has not been feeling well for a few weeks now. Um, she's requested prayer for herself, also for her mother. Her mother has heart disease and she's really struggling right now um, and worried about the virus. She's very susceptible, so please pray for them. Uh, Brother Mark Duke has put in a prayer request for his father. He has a chest infection uh, due to his heart surgeries and um, he needs prayer for healing over that. Sister Kayleen Etheridge went to Cleveland Clinic this past week uh, for a spot on her brain that they're trying to get answers for. So we're praying for those answers to come in and figure out a solution there. Shirley Scott, um, which is my grandmother and um, Sister Glenda's stepmother. She has a virus. It is not COVID-19, um, but she is very sick um, and they are worried about her um, being more susceptible. Uh, so pray for healing for her. And uh, lastly, Carolyn Smith, which is a friend of Sister Jackie Courtright. She's been diagnosed with cancer and Sister Jackie has asked for the church to pray over her. I have a very long list, as you just heard, but our God is able to meet every single need, mm -hmm. yes, no yes. matter how big or how small. So if you have a need, proclaim it right now from your seat, wherever you're watching right now, and we are going to lift up every single need, spoken or unspoken. Uh, let's take everything to him. Amen. Amen. Lord God, we know that you're the way maker. We know that you're the miracle worker. We're taking every single need, every single name, every single situation, God, no matter how big or how small they are, God, and we're placing them at your feet. Lord, we know that you're able to move mountains in our lives. We know that you'd move throughout this congregation, and we know that you're going to do it again, Lord. Every single name that's been uh, spoken out today, Lord, and all the needs that are coming from our respective homes today, I ask that you would just give people peace over the answers that you are going to provide over these next few weeks, Lord. You are the God of peace, Lord. You are not the God of the storm. And we are trusting in you. We have faith believing that you are going to answer every single thing that we are bringing forward to you today, Lord. I pray that you would just move throughout us, protect us throughout this week, Lord, as we are navigating this situation. <laughs> Lord God, and we give everything over to you, Lord. We ask in the name of Jesus that you would move through every single situation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Excuse me. I have just a few announcements, and then we are going to transition into our last song of worship today. On Tuesday evening, instead of our corporate prayer, uh, pastor is asking that everyone has a time of prayer in your home for, um, to find some time between 7 and 9 p.m. to pray. Um, I will be sending out our the prayer list I just spoke, and if you want to add something onto there, you can text me, email the church, put it on this Facebook group, and we will send out a prayer request list. Um, seems like we're adding to it all the time, which is great because uh, we believe in power of prayer. Yeah. Amen. So uh, Tuesday night between 7 and 9 p.m., uh, please find some time to pray in your respective homes. Pastors asking us to bind together. We know that prayer works. So uh, throughout this time of darkness and uncertainty, we know that we can bind together yes. collectively yes. as a group to keep the faith and keep the hope. But Tuesday night, 7 to 9, please find some time to pray. On Wednesday, um, Pastor is going to be speaking to you in this Facebook group. Um, he will be coming on seven p at 7 p.m., our regular uh, worship time. Pastor will be speaking to us at 7. Um, he is also going to be speaking tonight 
um, Sunday at 7 p.m. You already hear from a pastor. He's got a, a message for us. Uh, while we can't meet in our, you know, regular sense, he is going to uh, preach to us. Amen. Thankful for a pastor that still wants to preach the word of God, no matter what's going on mm -hmm. in our crazy, crazy world. So that's Tuesday and Wednesday. As everyone knows, the situation with COVID-19 is rapidly changing. It's a very fluid situation. Pastor has asked me to tell you we are going to be connected with you as much as possible. We are going to get information to you. So please be checking your email. If you're not on the email list, please uh, get that to me and I will get you added. Um, and check this Facebook. We're posting a lot of things on this Facebook. Um, most of our saints do have Facebook. Um, if you don't have Facebook or if you know someone who doesn't have Facebook, we are uploading every video that we're posting in this group to YouTube and we'll be sending those links out. And if you have a smartphone, you can watch those links um, on YouTube. Um, and if someone is not connected to anything, <laughs> we will make sure someone gets to them and shows someone from the ministry team, the leadership team will get to someone if it's an elderly saint who's not maybe connected um, technologically. So, um, we are going to Tuesday night, have prayer. Wednesday, Pastor's going to be speaking to us. Sister Ruth Ann has um, said you can still give. You can mail your giving. Uh, you can drop it off if you feel comfortable with that. We're still here working in the building um, to keep this kind of stuff going for you. Um, so if you feel comfortable, you can drop things off. Or you can use our mobile app, which is GiveLify. And if you're not signed up for that and you need help, you can see Sister Ruth Ann or myself. Uh, but Pastor's asked, please remember your giving during this time. Um, last but not least, we have one more song we're going to find together in worship. Uh, because of who you are, that's what we're going to sing. Um, after we're done with this song, Brother Tyler is going to be speaking to you. It's going to be a separate video from this one. So what we're going to ask everyone to do is after we're done singing this next song, close out of this video. And then Brother Tyler will be going live in this same Facebook group. So the video should pop up somewhere at the top. And it'll say Tyler Himes is live. He is going to give everyone a few minutes to close out of this video and log on. So don't freak out. He'll give you a few minutes to get connected there. So after we're done singing, I go ahead and close out of this video and hop on. And Brother Tyler is going to speak a word to us. Um, he is going to be speaking from Acts 16. So if you have your Bible or have your Bible app on your phone, you can get that set up. Um, but his word is going to come from Acts 16. Uh, so have that ready. We're going to have uh, worship along with us uh, as we sing our last worship song here. <laughs> 